After a year of silence, Logan Paul has finally come clean and talked about CryptoZoo. We're going to look at all of this and more, including KSI, who proves to be a complete and utter embarrassment yet again. You're not going to want to miss that. It has been over a year since CoffeeZilla exposed Logan Paul and CryptoZoo, showing that the fans never got anything they asked for. Then if you recall, Logan Paul responded thanking CoffeeZilla for exposing him and offering a refund program. We want to offer a rewards program for players who are disappointed in the status of the game. So essentially you're going to be able to burn your, your base egg uh, or your base animal for the mint price, which was 0.1 ETH or the equivalent in BNB. I am personally committing a thousand ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million. Thank you, CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed this and I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. This refund program never happened. Logan Paul promised to do it, said CryptoZoo was his priority, but it ended up never happening until today. Logan Paul issued a statement on Twitter saying this, Today I am incredibly happy to announce that I am delivering on my promise to buy back base eggs and base animal CryptoZoo NFTs for their original purchase price. This buyback program is being carried out at eggnftbuyback.com. Claims can be submitted through this site through February 8th. I approach the CryptoZoo project with everything else I am passionate about, with only the best possible intentions and success for everyone who shared our vision. I never made a single penny from the project, period. In fact, the opposite is true, because I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to make it happen. With this buyback program, I am personally committing more than $2.3 million dollars to buy back base eggs and base animals from every person who intended to play CryptoZoo. Like you, I was highly disappointed that the game was not delivered. As I said a year ago, CryptoZoo was derailed by bad actors, bad actors who did steal money and who had betrayed our team while internally sabotaging the game. This has now been confirmed by an extensive investigation that has involved a forensic analysis of blockchain activity and the review of thousands of communications. With this evidence in mind today, I filed a lawsuit in federal court in Texas to hold these bad actors accountable. The 25-page lawsuit is public and can be found here. This lawsuit is not based just on snippets of conversations taken out of context. This lawsuit is a result of an exhaustive investigation that included review of the entirety of conversations and tracking nefarious trading activities related to the project. Nefarious trading activity taken behind our backs without our knowledge and with the intention of defrauding us all. As far as the game itself, unfortunately, it will not be released. I personally spent $400,000 to have it developed and after its completion in early 2023, some further due diligence, unfortunately, there are too many regulatory hurdles that would need to be cleared that I did not originally understand and would ultimately delay this buyback even further. This buyback is a way for me to make the whole those who intended to play CryptoZoo. The buyback is not intended to compensate those who gambled on the crypto market and lost. It is important to remember that the Zoo token was created to support the CryptoZoo game and its players. It was not intended as an investment vehicle as outlined in the original white paper. This solution has been anything but simple, so I want to thank everyone for their patience as we figure out logistics and making sure the first ever NFT buyback is a smooth process. So this is Logan Paul saying, one, he's suing the bad actors, which we already knew from CoffeeZilla's videos there were bad actors in CryptoZoo, who Logan didn't vet or do any research on. Logan's refund he's offering, this is exactly the same as the refund he promised a year ago, which had its critiques. One, this only applies to the people who bought base eggs and animals and who still have them now. Most people who got scammed sold to try and salvage what little they can. So you're ignoring a huge portion of people who've been scammed. Secondly, the Zoo token Logan Paul claims was not an investment vehicle. It's so fun. It provides a yield with a token, can earn you money. You aren't getting any refunds or anything like that, which is a huge chunk of the player base and was a currency used within the game. Thirdly, the price of Ethereum has changed a lot. What the people who were scammed bought the base eggs and NFTs for back then was a lot more expensive than it is now. So you're not refunding the full cost. These are critiques I made a year ago and they will apply today for the exact same buyback. Another huge question I have, why has it nearly been a year for this to happen? Now people are going to argue, well, he's been sued by CryptoZoo victims, so he's not put it out. Well, he's still being sued by the CryptoZoo victims. This doesn't negate that. So why can he put this out now and not fulfill this a year ago to people who actually wanted to get out? Because at the end of the day, if you got scammed and there was a way to get a buyback, if you're happy with that, then that's fine. At least you're going to get something. This is the bare, bare minimum Logan Paul could do. But why the hell is it being offered now and not when he offered it basically a year ago? And if you've kept up to date with Logan Paul and the CryptoZoo stuff this year, 
You all know that CoffeeZilla reached out to Logan many, many times. Logan never replied, stayed radio silent about refunding anyone. Is that he hasn't actually paid anyone yet. He hasn't even said a word to his community since January when he got in trouble. And it's just been really frustrating to watch because frankly, I'm tired of talking about Logan. But many of these people are helplessly waiting and begging for Logan to respond to them and they've been getting nothing. So I followed up with Logan privately twice about the lack of refunds uh, and heard nothing. Now, what I found absolutely embarrassing, one of the most embarrassing things I have seen in a while, KSI, his partner in Prime, couldn't suck Logan any harder. He quote tweets Logan's solution with, what will the haters say now? What are you talking? The haters? Oh, you mean the people who've been calling out Logan Paul for not refunding the victims of CryptoZoo and the victims of Scam? Why is everyone a hater to KSI who doesn't lick the asses of these big creators? Just because you're working with Logan KSI, you're doing anything you can to defend this prick. You also now being a prick. Even I'm in his head still. Someone replied, Kavos right now with a picture of some guy at McDonald's and KSI replies with laughing emojis. KSI really thought this was a W. And all Logan's done is re-offer what he offered a year ago that still wasn't adequate enough for the CryptoZoo victims. KSI would never be defending Logan like this if they weren't in prime. It's just absolute embarrassing. And also, KSI, have you forgot? Logan Paul got caught promoting and profiting off multiple pump and dumps. Remember Dink Doink? Fucking Dink Doink. A complete pump and dump that Logan Paul himself sang the fucking theme song for. Dink Doink, you're my favorite coin. He promoted it on his Twitter profile and shamelessly kept plugging it to attract as many investors as possible. I'm doing the same thing as you, holding my doink. That's what I'm doing. This is a shit coin I believe in. It's my favorite one, to be honest. Dink Doink is so much more than a meme coin. It's a multimedia coin. Cartoon meets crypto. It's the blockchain, baby, in, in, in cartoon, fun, comedy format. I'm going to be doing an episode myself soon. And I, as a holder in Dink Doink, I believe in this shit. I think it's going to go crazy. Some of my friends and uh, celebrities as well are going to get involved in episodes doing voiceovers, fun cartoon stuff. It's fucking Dink Doink, bro. And I'm ready to start sucking some Dink. And yes, you can see he fucking dumped on everyone. Now, that's not all pre-crypto zoo. Logan Paul also promoted Elon Gate on his Maverick private page. Elon Gate made me rich. Elon, Elon Gate, Gate, baby, let's go. <laughs> Elon Gate token. Which, as you can see from the chart, was a total pump and dumb. Logan then promoted another pump and dump. Fuck Elon tweeting, fuck Elon to the moon before he ever gets there. Not financial advice. And as you can see by the graph, it was another complete and utter pump and dump. So Logan's fans got completely burned by him. Logan dumped on them 12 hours after and he made $116,000 in profit. Logan is a complete scumbag. Like the video if Logan's a scumbag and if KSI is embarrassing. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Got loads more content coming. And thank you for watching. Until next time, fuck off. It's so fun. It provides a yield with a token, can earn you money. And uh, as a person who understands, I think, the NFT space enough to know what works, what people want, and what they're looking for, I think my game is going to make uh, make some waves.